our channel. I'm C. And I'm M. Of C M Get Fit. And today, what are we talking about, baby? Today, we are going to be getting into one of the questions we get asked the absolute most. How do you guys continue to maintain your weight loss journey but still enjoy your weekends? That's what we're going to get into today. So the weekends can be really tricky for people. Yeah. That's mostly when you go out to dinner. Yep. Yep. Um, you reward yourself for all your hard work. Yeah, throughout the week. The week. Yep. You maybe go on vacation. Yep, that's your time to spend with family, friends, and yeah. just enjoy yourself and do things with people. Right, yeah. things that you don't normally do through the Monday through Friday. So yep. it can definitely be a little tricky. So we're going to share with you a few tips that we've done to kind of help us out, right? Right, yep. These things help us stay consistent, so maybe they'll help you guys out too. One of the things that we realized during our weight loss journey is that we always found ourselves having a lot more available time on the weekends than we did during the week. Mm -hmm. And that time we found felt better to have it filled with exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Having an opportunity to be able to move your body more often, you should always try to take it. Yeah. So like throughout the week, you know, you can definitely have your workout schedule planned if you work out Monday through Friday, you know, that's great. But the weekend tends to give you that extra time. So Freedom. you can get in a longer workout. Yeah. You can go for a jog. Things that you don't get to do during the week, you can do, you can do the over weekend. the weekend. Um, I know that, you know, the weekend is for resting your body and you definitely should. But you can be active during the weekend as well. It's active thing, rest day. Yeah, active rest day. That's exactly what we do over the weekend. On Saturdays, we may go for a jog or a hike yeah. or something that, that we're still just moving our bodies. That's not normally in our weekly workout. Exactly. It's a little extra. So the next thing that we thought would be really useful to share is that throughout the weekend, we really, really try to stick to our same eating schedule that we have during the week. So Monday through Friday, we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we try to do the same thing over the weekend. Yes, and it allows us to stay consistent. That consistency carrying over into the weekend lets the new week start off great. Exactly. When you fall off your schedule, it makes you go into the next week kind of all over the yeah, place. You're and so if you stick to what you're consistently doing, you'll never have a chance to fall off track because right. you never got off. You can still have those meals that you know you shouldn't necessarily have. Weekend, it's right. okay, but just make sure you have it. Make sure you have that breakfast, that lunch, that dinner. If you're planning on going out for dinner that night, plan to have a lighter lunch. Right, as long as you're maintaining that same pattern that you had during the week, you should be able to stay consistent. And that brings me to the next thing, which is just enjoying your weekend, but just enjoying your weekend mindfully. You can still have those foods you love. You can still eat the things that you feel like you have to have. Just do it in moderation. Exactly. Just because it's the weekend doesn't mean you have to let go of all of those, you know, things that you are going after, such as drinking water. It's right. just the weekend. It doesn't make sense to try to drink water from Monday through Friday, five days a week, and then not right. for two days out of the week. Right. Still try to hit your water goal. Yes, you still got to stay consistent with the goals you had, but just be mindful. Yes. Eat the way you want, kind of, but be aware of your portions. Continue to be aware of your portions. Make sure that you're aware of what you're eating. But most importantly, do not let that cheat meal turn into an entire cheat day. Mm -hmm. Last thing that has been a saving grace for us, in my opinion, is taking snacks with us on the go. Yeah. Over the weekend is when we tend to run our errands. Take We're care just, of everything. yeah, out of the house, taking care of everything. And I like to pack us snacks along the way so we're not tempted to stop and get fast food yeah. or anything like that. And when we say snacks, we're not meaning like chips and things like that. <laughs> Cookies. No. no, we're saying like healthy snacks, things that are mindful of your day. We understand that you're going to be, you understand that you're going to be eating the things that you shouldn't, quote mm -hmm. unquote, but things that you enjoy. Yeah. And having healthier snacks around will help curb that appetite so you don't eat so much of it so often. Exactly. Okay, fam, so let's give a quick recap of some of the things that we have covered so far. Number one, make sure that you are using that extra weekend time to get active. Number two, make sure you keep your eating schedule the same, get in all your meals. Number three, make sure that you are being mindful of your weekend, but still enjoy yourself. And number four, make sure you take your snacks with you on the go. Always. So that's all we have for you, fam. We really hope that you find these tips to be helpful. We hope that you don't allow the weekends to ruin all of the progress that you're making right. in your journey. Just keep going strong. All right. Until next time. Later, later fam. fam.